Hello and welcome to another video about Elasticsearch. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can um, do Active Directory integration with your uh, Elasticsearch using, of course, uh, the XPack. Now, before we will going to go into deep dive into the configuration of AD integration with Elasticsearch, we will need to talk about uh, licensing. If I were going to go to my Kibana and um, go for example to license management you will see over here that uh, i have uh, chosen to start on uh, a trial license previously i was having the basic license so please remember that if you're not starting your trial license your active directory integration will not gonna work and i will show you why it's uh, because of the subscription Active Directory authentication is not free for Elastic Stack. You will need minimum uh, gold license to run uh, Active Directory integration uh, or LDAP integration. So right now we will gonna go into the features. So please remember this is the open source. This is the basic. Actually, basic is free for everyone. You don't have to worry about it. So you should go from the first one to the basic license yeah and then you start with gold platinum and enterprise now let's go to basic and uh, try to find the integration and uh, here it is you have uh, ldap pki active directory authentication yeah and for this one for the basic license you don't have it they start only with gold and for example, if you want more, like you, if you want uh, uh, SSO with uh, SAML, OpenID Connect, Kerberos, and these things, you will need to go for at least Platinum. Now, if I will uh, make a comparison, for example, with Greylog, and Greylog is uh, it's a direct competitor with Elastic Stack because both of them they are log collector platforms. In Greylog, in the open source license uh, you already have uh, active directory integration or ldap integration without any issue so you don't have to pay for it but for elastic stack you need to pay for it and i don't really understand why they made it in such a way that you will need to pay for uh, active directory authentication it just doesn't make any sense okay i understand that um, if you like to have something like a token service or uh, SSO then you need to pay something extra but for Active Directory integration makes absolutely no sense and hopefully this feature uh, in the new Elastic Stack uh, version or Elastic Search version uh, they will make it for free but uh, anyway uh, let's uh, see how we can configure it so if I'm going to go to the um, official documentation page, uh, it tells us that uh, we will need to configure an Active Directory realm uh, and so on, domain name. Um, so we will, we will just, let's say, going to copy this one. Uh, from here and all the changes that we were going to do we were going to do it in here Elasticsearch YAML file uh, and in case you have uh, multiple uh, active directories or LDAP servers uh, you can use um, uh, you can use ro round robin to load balance between those servers so I'm just going to take this example from here and put it into my YAML file. I'm gonna go all the way down and I will paste it in here. And now I'm going to change the order maybe to one, uh, the domain name, we can put it to bitsbyteheart.local. 
we are not running the uh, LDAP S, we are just running normal LDAP. So I'm gonna go 3A9. Sorry. I will put in here 3A9. Uh, no LDAP S, just simple LDAP. And write out the IP address of my um, Active Directory server. Okay, so we have the realms, we have the order. Uh, we will need to do some uh, user search right now. Colin. And then uh, here we will have our base distinguished name. And in here you will need to put your um, uh, distinguished name for where you have your users located. Well, my users are, uh, and I will use another one. Uh, my, my users are actually under users. So this is my structure in uh, Active Directory users, and this is the domain. Now we will need to do group search. Since we already have base search. And in the group search, distinguished name. Uh, I, I, for me, it's uh, similar because I have created my uh, groups um, in users. So I don't need to specify something else. For you, it might be different. So I will just uh, copy and paste this one here. And now we will have to do some um, role mapping. And for that one, we will use the uh, YAML file from uh, Elastic Search. Yeah. So just to get uh, a good view, I'm going to open another session. Okay. So this is the file I'm going to use. So we will put in here files, colon, and then role mapping. Colon, double codes, and this is the path to our role mapping YAML file. And now we can uh, actually save this one, exit, and then we will edit the role mapping file. Uh, sorry, role mapping. Okay. And in here we were going to do uh, the default ones. We were going to change for power users. And then something for the user. Let's just uh, get rid of these ones. And I'm going to use uh, another group, which I created it for 
another purpose. Uh, it's actually for netbox. So if you want to check my netbox videos, uh, you can find them in the playlist. Uh, then we will gonna do something else for uh, normal user. Uh, if you have, if you don't have it, it's okay. It's not mandatory to do it, but I'm just gonna do it for the sake of this video and save it. Exit from here, and after this one, I'm gonna restart my. Elasticsearch service. Okay, something is going wrong. Uh, let's check the YAML file. Maybe I did something wrong there. So we have XPAC, security, realms, uh, my AD, order one, domain name. Aha, okay. So over here we have a space. And probably this is the reason why it's not working. You really need to be careful at the indentation. Let's try to restart again. This time hopefully should work. Okay, let's check the status. It's running fine. So that was the problem, the space. And uh, let's also restart our Kibana service. Good, so everything is fine, it's running fine. Uh, let's try to connect right now with uh, one of our users. And here I'm gonna open another window. Okay, and I'm gonna do one of the users that is part of active netbox group. Yeah. And the reason why is this failing is that most probably there is uh, no such thing as a power user uh, role into um, uh, Elasticsearch uh, defined. So we can try to uh, put it to super user in our case. So we will have to go and uh, edit the role mapping YAML file again. Okay, and here I'm gonna change this one instead of power user, we will put it to super user. Uh, control O, Control X, then uh, restart uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana. Okay, so right now that the services are restarted, let's try again to log in. I will just refresh this window or this page. The, let's try our active netbox. Okay, and right now it looks like it's working. Right now, if we were gonna go to settings and then go to role mappings, uh, we can create additional role mappings in here. And uh, the way you do it uh, from Kibana, not from the YAML file, is that um, you try to, to put a name in here, like uh, let's say users. Uh, then you can assign a role, like uh, uh, super user or any other thing in here. Then uh, you need to do the Active Directory mapping. So you add rules, uh, you go, for example, for groups, and then you put your uh, uh, distinguished name in here for the group. Uh, just to show you how it looks like is that um, you go to the role mapping one uh, in here. And for example, you take this one. And by the way, there is, uh, unfortunately, there is no such thing as a user. So we can't test or, for example, if you're going to try to log in with a user from this group, uh, Staff Netbox, it won't work. So you, you need to do it this way. 
so we can do it like this uh, groups yeah let's give it the name users and then uh, let's try to put in here um, I don't know also super user And uh, just to uh, demonstrate to you that we haven't actually saved this mapping, if um, I will open another uh, browser, uh, let's say uh, Mozilla, and I will try to uh, log in to Kibana, um, you will notice that uh, it will not gonna work. So let's just wait a little bit. I'm going to use a username from that group. Then I will hit on login and uh, okay, there is a problem with invalid credentials. Uh, so it's uh, actually stuff.netbox. Then uh, login. And you're going to see that we were going to get prompted with is this error. Yeah. But if I'm going to click on save role mapping and uh, if I will go back and try to log in again, you'll see that it will going to work for sure. And it is. So I have shown you how you can uh, create um, the role mapping in the YAML file and uh, I have also shown you how you can create the role mapping in uh, Kibana. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, share and talk to you guys in the next one.